The Candace Mutes have become a household name for their hilariously relatable drama. In this latest franchise film offering, we are reminded of why we love the family so much and especially Shanti and Jennifer. In this latest film franchise offering, Jennifer and Shanti um, plan a couple's trip in order to try and revive the relationship that they have with their husbands and little do they know that they have some surprises planned up their own sleeve. Now, I don't know, I've been floored from the first minutes when it started until the end. Well, not really the first because we're introduced to a young couple, but it really has been full of hilarious gems. Um, mm. It also has been quite incredible or interesting because of the um, introduction really to Indian culture and how the dynamic between husband and wife really is. We see Shanti and Jennifer having to still play the traditional, you know, role of a woman, a married woman where their husbands want tea, you know, oh, I feel like having tea. And then, you know, they have to get up and do it. You know, if they want samosas while they add it, then the wives have to now start preparing a whole new meal. So it really has been interesting seeing that cultural um, aspect, you know, the Indian culture also brought into the fore. So it's like, you know, these things are very typical. We can also laugh about, you know, we don't have to be all gloom about the things that are very real to our existence as people. Mm. Um, what are your thoughts on this new offering? It's hilarious. Mm. It's hilarious. Like, yeah, I can't believe, like, <laughs> There's so much about it. I can't tell if he wants a shanti or if she wants tea. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, I just, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it quite a lot, actually. Uh, I don't really have much against it. I don't, yeah, I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. And it reminded me of, like, I went to a school based in an Indian community. So I, I like, I literally, it, ref it reminded me of back in primary yo let me not expose my age but yeah you know i loved it i loved this the the role plays i loved how it's all about family how it's all about that and it's about time we get to actually see some positive aspects of families you know on tv we don't we hardly see that these days either like a superhero or you know drama that's it but this one just talks to the dynamics of how women manage homes. What stood out for you the most? First of all, just Jennifer and Shanti. You know, mm. them being these women who, um, according to cultural roles, you know, they, to culture, the specific roles that they have to play, you know, being very um, submissive to a certain extent. Mm. And seeing them here, where they kind of take back, take back their power, you know, um, they confront their husbands um, because of the way that they've been treating them, they confront their husbands about, you know, the way in which they've made them feel mm. throughout the marriage. And you also see maybe also what is typical traditional, you know, um, men maybe in marriages aren't always like trying to woo their wives, you know, mm. compliment them and stuff like that. So you see these women who are most likely also very traditional Indian women. Um, now are also very modern at the same time you know and there are things that they want to experience that are part of the modern way of doing things you know having dates like picnics and you know all these romantic kinds of things and seeing their husbands kind of like just wanting to be boys mm. um, i think it was quite interesting to see them finally just like expressing that they've had enough and you know it's time that they be taken seriously and be given the same kind of attention or affection that these men give to each other and other people mm. you know um for me just seeing them step up like that was really it was really like inspiring you know um yeah yeah it was really inspiring to see that again it's like that's how every woman should really be you know stand up for yourself even though especially against the people that you really love and care about you know like you shouldn't yeah. um, put yourself and what you f want to do and your feelings in the back just to maintain peace which is also funny because these husbands are saying you know they lie to keep the peace but the <laughs> lies don't necessarily keep the peace the lies create, create chaos, chaos. <laughs> so <laughs> 
Um, yeah, but it also it was it was really just a fun movie yeah. about family and relation dynamic, marriage, especially I guess also highlighting the complications of marriage. Mm. You know, the older you get, the more comfortable you become. So you don't always think about what can I do to kind of spice things up. You know, paying your partner compliments. I'm just guessing. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? What was it for mm. you that like? Stood they, it was there's there's a lot that stood out for me, you know, the dynamics of friendships. I mean these two women were and how could back to like the first one, these women would literally hated each other. Mm. You know, and getting to see them become such close friends, you know. But I also love the fact that they they are there for everybody and they make sure everybody's at home even though there's there's always you know there's always that malume in the family in this case it was Aya the grandmother like you know you know what like even her humor had, had, it's almost dry but damn it's quite quite good it's quite good humor you know mm. and I just love all, all those things how they come together and how how well th well they they overacted in certain instances there was no there was some 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 scenes where you like I by act out you know there are those scenes but the the, the, the general flow of it mm. you know the general flow of it I loved it and I enjoyed that that that, that aspect of it you know with, with that being said you know what was your best scene the best scene I would say um Shanti's birthday dinner, you know, when both her and Jennifer just blurted out that, you know, actually, baby, we know that you're leaving in two weeks and um, you lied to everybody about you staying. Why are you really like here? Yeah, you know, what are you here to do? And just also the revelation that the husbands were scammed into giving baby money. Mm. <laughs> that was very funny because it's like, I think that also spoke to like something that's very real you know um here's this beautiful lady who comes in and mm. she just dupes these men by mm. using her and beauty she's beautiful you know oh. like she's very beautiful she knows that she's beautiful and she knows that in order to get what she wants she has an advantage that she can use mm. and she really played her own brother as well as you know um jennifer's husband as well so that for me was like they were so taken by this beautiful woman that they completely forgot about their own wives. You know, like they didn't prioritize their own wives. They didn't really want to spend time with their own wives. Mm. They were happy to sabotage a trip that they knew their wives had planned for them to reconnect and, you know, just mm. as a couple's make retreat. Yeah. yeah. So just the wives confronting them about what baby was doing, but also them about how they made them feel. You know, they they obviously spoke for each other. You know, they like Jennifer was talking to Shanti's husband that you know this woman you could do more than buying her a seven piece pot set for her birthday. Come on. <laughs> so for me, that was very like um, also it was very real to I don't know you know experiences from observation you know how women are really treated by their husbands you know mm. a man will really gift his wife something for the house on her birthday which is like mm, on any other day we could go out and buy you know a set of plates or mugs but you can't gift me that for my birthday so that for me was a scene that really was like i'm so glad you guys are speaking up <laughs> you know and demanding that you be treated better you know mm. um and then obviously to see their husbands now grovel and do all of that stuff was like ugh. so you're only doing it because you got called out but mm. what happens then when you guys are on good terms you know yeah, yeah. Um, that that was like a lingering question in the back of my mind what was it for you well i just want to say Ladies, if you buy a man a gift, don't buy him socks. We know. We're also tired. I <laughs> think... <laughs> okay, let me not come to anyone's defense, but... Okay, cool. But I'm just saying, you know, like, yeah. as much as some things are typical, well, guys generally typical house set, that's a gift. But even with women, let's, let's learn to use things up, you know? Amongst each other, I suppose. I'm trying to defend men when you're not even relevant to this point. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, in any ways, um, <coughs> my best scene, well, 
you know, throughout through it all out, it talks about conflict resolution. You know, how how to best in as much as the guys typically they would say just lie to soothe the, to remedy the situation or whatever. But at the end of the day people's feelings do count, you know. And I just love the fact that uh, Jennifer and Ashanti took the power and punished their husbands for whatever they went for, for what, what they were bringing them to, you know, what they made them go through. So now with that being said, how did the men now reconcile with them? How, how accepting were Shanti, Ashanti, Shanti, Shanti, where Shanti and Jennifer were willing to accept the apologies which were rendered, you know? I just love the fact that it talks to that people Yes, we might be family, but it does not mean that you, we don't have feelings for each other. We don't have certain underlying conditions which we go through with family, you know. And it doesn't mean there's this whole thing of cancelling people out. Yes, people do that, but it's not always the best thing you could do. You know, I just love how it talks to that and it emphasizes on that, you know. That was my best scene. Overall, how many belt on sticks would you give it? I'd give it a three out of five. Three out of five. Mm. I think when I first watched it, I was like, okay, where's the like women breaking boundaries element to it, you know, which is part of the this month's theme. But mm. it was also just an, a really great, I guess, break from the um, like women always having to challenge like a, a big, big issue outside of home. You know, mm. this was like let's let's now reflect on what really goes on in the household and the ways in which women are you know sometimes put in positions where they have to be subdued and you know all of that yeah, yeah, yeah. how many bull dogs just would you give it i agree i'd give it a three honestly yeah there's those important elements within it which people need to know and need to understand but i'd give it a total three out of five well, that gives us a total of three out of five Bulldog Sticks. So if you've also seen Tripping with the Candesinis, um, let us know what you think about it. Give us a comment down below. Local Baba. And if there's a South African film series or documentary that you would like us to review, or those that are featuring Africans in the diaspora, let us know. I'm Komo. And I'm Dumi. And this is the Bulldog Review. Thanks for watching.